Cal, in the opening session of uh, multiplication, we looked at uh, the strategy approach for teaching the facts. Mm -hmm. Then we explored the the use ten strategy right. to teach the five facts. Uh, right now, we have to look at the the doubling strategy. Right. And in that opening session, we used the double double as as an exemplar for for how to introduce, reinforce, uh, practice, and extend. So we sh so we shouldn't have to go through quite as much, but we have to still do multiply by two doubling and multiply by eight double double double, and then link that with the four is double double. Yes. What do you suggest to, to introduce the, the double strategy for multiplication? Well, doubling involves the multiplying with the two, and often what happens when children work with the two is they want to count steps of two, mm -hmm. which is they can be okay on as long as they're not having to go too far, mm -hmm. but as they get on beyond 10 and count 10, 12, 14, they, get, they lose track, and so we want to show them a stra another strategy that, that works uh, maybe a little bit more efficiently, and that strategy involves using the array, so mm -hmm. they can uh, look at that picture and say, well, I see two sixes, mm -hmm. and I can double it. Mm -hmm. So what they would have done is, is probably counted two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. They might have written, when they were doing addition, uh, six plus six, and uh, as, as, as 12, but now we have to connect that symbol, yeah. two by six, two sixes to that same picture. And I guess for that reason, they're not really learning, they might be, they should already know these facts. They just happen to know them as addition facts, That's right? That's exactly right. So that should not be new to them at all. That's right. The answer should be, it should be something they can get, get quickly. Yeah, get quickly. But now, as you just said, we're just making a link. Uh,